I just got done drilling holes in these containers for my coronavirus plants. I got them all at the 99 cent store, so it's a good choice I'm say going out and buying pots. Because, you know, these work too. So, so I'm going to transplant the Saracenia paporia, the Venus flight traps, the southern dew thread. Looks dead. So does that one, so does that one, but they're not. They're just going dormant. So, well, they they look like they're already hibernating to me. Uh, Saracenia leucophilia, something like that. I don't know the pronunciation. It looks like crap because I actually let it dry out, but, you know, it's doing okay, I guess. It's the white top pitcher. And this one, Drossa scorpiotes, or whatever the heck it's called. I'm not even going to bother transplanting it. It's just a tiny thing for that pot, so. Then, I'll, you know, I'll transplant my Venus flight traps and all that. Well, I'm, I'm transplanting, like, everything here, except for that one and that one. So, yeah. So, first, I'm going to just transplant all the Venus flight traps. I'm going to use a 50 50 mix of fertilizer free peat moss to uh, perlite. Yeah. So, uh. I'll be transplanting, I think, about 10, 15 Venus flight traps all into this pot. Er, yeah, so I will like stop, I guess, then I might record when I'm taking them out of the pot or whatever. We'll see. In order to help prevent soil loss, I'm just going to put in a little bit of sphagnum moss into the bottom so it'll clog up the holes a little bit. Now just open up the peat moss. I'll be careful not to like rip it open and have it spill everywhere. Suck. So. Uh, about there. Very good. Um. Oops. This perlite. Again, try not to spill it everywhere. Probably add a little bit more peat moss just to help top it off, anyway. Oops. Ah. Oh well, that doesn't matter, it's fine. It's a little bit much, but whatever. So, yeah. So I'll do this part of them first. As you can see, they are starting to go dormant already. It's best to transplant or change soil in a in winter when they're dormant, but, you know, they're, it's close enough, so it's not going to kill them, even if you transplant them in the middle of the growing season. So that's the rhyme zone, or the rim zone, I'm not sure how you pronounce it really, but. So right there I got two separate plants, nice white rhizomes. so that's one way you can tell that they're healthy. Got some roots, not a whole bunch of roots or anything, but I got some hanging out of there. So now I'll turn you this way. Just 
a couple little holes. I think these Venus fly traps are really going to spread a lot once they're in this big pot. You know, with a bunch of room to grow. Oh, yeah, and I still got all these other ones from that same pot, so. But, yeah, so I'll take this. You know, maybe I should water it down. That way, uh, the soil will drop and then I can add any more that I need to before I get them all planted in. Okay, that's fine. I guess I might as well give them their space since I have such a big plot right here. Then break away this clump. If your soil is all sticking together and you have a big mess of roots and all, it helps if you just like run water over this clump, you know, and it'll like wash away all the old soil. Huh, so right there, that's like one nice little clump of plant. I can actually break it apart right there. I can tell it's like, yeah, that's a nice looking ramsum. Nice long, lots of little branches going across it. You just snap that off at probably any of those and get a few new plants, but I'd rather get some extra big Venus fly traps and just keep them together. Let them grow more and, you know, snap them apart once they're getting overly large and all that, but just stick that in there. You can purchase Venus fly traps and other carnivorous plants as well as soil and supplies at cobraplant.com. Uh, it's actually also known as Saracenian Northwest. So, yeah, it's a great website. I've ordered quite a few Nepenthes tropical pitcher plants from them, and I've been satisfied every time. They have excellent packing. In fact, their packing is so good that it's, like, hard to get your plants out, but, you know, that's good. These are, like, red mouth variety Venus fly traps. You know, like the, like the low giant or whatever. They get really big, but since I transplanted them last year, they, like, exploded into a whole bunch of tiny ones, so... I got a good, like, probably 10 Venus fly traps in this pot. There we go. Alright. Oh man, this one's gonna be a mess. I don't know if I can record all this one because I have, like, like I said, I have, like, probably 10 Venus fly traps in this thing. right there that's a clump of like I think three about that I've seen like well that that's including ones that are sharing roots of course and it's getting too dark to see anymore so yeah mm, I will uh, I should hopefully do a video on the Penthes care I should I guess maybe make some videos short videos of transplanting the Saracenia and the Sundews but other than that you know, it's basically all, all the same. You just put in new soil, so, you know, it's pretty simple. Just try not to disturb the roots too much, which is kind of impossible when you're transplanting, but just don't, like, just don't let them dry out, and you'll be fine. Come on, turn off. I'm trying not to, like, get it all dirty.